Welcome back. We're in the middle of a very heated discussion. Zuhaib, I'm going to ask you to repeat your question so that the people from the industry can The question can was it. that it was not only our problem that we are not getting internship or the job. It is a problem of the industry also that is not getting the right skills and the abilities in the students which are approaching them. So what exactly is the industry doing to bridge this gap? Right. Your, your concern is a very valid concern again and it is a problem. But the fact is that, I mean, the, the effort and yes, the finances that it would take us to go in your university red tape, I'm sorry, uh, it is enormous. And we can actually do without, I mean, we can actually, unfortunately, can play the more, uh, the lower demand and the higher supply situation. So, I mean, basically what we have is we have a lot of graduates uh, coming out of university, as you said, so many, too many actually. And we can basically, uh, for well, each job application, we get so many applications. So, we, so it's not that, it's not a commercial problem for us. I mean, uh, if you say that finance, finance is the issue that you cannot finance a project, okay. Why don't you approach the university, deliver your idea that this is the idea, this is what we want. So that in second year or in third year, you, you have there, you have implemented your idea, you have delivered the idea, that this oh. is the idea, this is what we require in the industry. And then we can work out on that. I think that's I mean, a good idea. Three I mean, three years, years, I mean, you don't have to invest anything ideas. and they can work and on a project, project that's relevant. After, after uh, you know the, about the curriculum, actually you can have the university out with the curriculum, you can suggest them that what they should add in the curriculum which can help exactly. I think that's a valid point yeah. because a lot of the time the industry complains that they are still dealing with those archaic methods of studying and they're you know, learning engineering that is not relevant to the market today. So I think that's a very valid point. Would you have to say that? We should also cooperate with the industry. We just can't go randomly. And tell them you're doing a wrong job. You're not uh, doing there's it. There's another point. I mean, I'm going to give you an example if there's time. Uh, there was a guy in 1981 when microprocessors were just being built. There was a guy who brought out in, in your university, there was a guy who was teaching microprocessor in the university for the first time. And he was teaching a Z80 processor. I know it's a technical term, but it was, it was a, the latest processor at that time. He taught it until 1987. And in 88, when he left the university, they went back to a processor that was built in 1978. They're teaching that processor in the, in the computers department and to you as well to this date. That's 21 years ago. That's a human generation. And something that industry doesn't need to tell you, yaar, ke you are guys are you know learning. But you that have is to suggest the you are actually referring to a knowledge. technical issue. And I would say that okay, uh, what do you want? We should start studying Pentium and Pentium D or dual, dual core. Exactly. Do you think that happens. Intel has released its architecture of dual core to other people like us? Wouldn't we be building those architectures if we were aware of uh, how they are? Uh, doing all this. Hold on one second. Let him talk and then. On that, on that argument, you're not building the 8085 processes also. You know, you, yeah. you studied but them for 21 years. You're not. You you can't build them. But so you has, don't have resources, sir. You don't have opportunities available right now. Our department is currently students are currently engaged in a uh, research research, uh, and only one company in the world that is Micron company that has released that kind of chip, and we are basically designing that chip. So don't you think we have the ability and the skills, but the resources are not available? I never said that you didn't have the ability. That would be a slap on my own so face. I have graduated so from the same university. So that's the thing. You need to do something to bring those students out to your industry instead of asking them, discouraging them, so that they may fly off to other uh, other uh, countries. I think um, that uh, we're playing, from what I've gathered, I'm completely neutral here, neither do I belong to the industry or the engineering students. Uh, but the thing is that I feel we're playing the blame game. And uh, you're saying that the industry needs to come forward. The industry says that the university needs to come yeah. forward. I think the university will do something if students got together mm -hmm. and took the initiative. So mm -hmm. I would like to ask you, what is the first step that you can do things to demand from yeah. uni university? Because you've obviously put your idea across. They know that they need to do something to help you. If even yeah. if they say that you have to initiate it, they are willing to help you out. But what do you think you can do to... Well, actually, we are trying to bridge the gap between industry, university How? and students. We, uh, since past three years, our department, that is Electronics Engineering, is organizing an event that's called Students Project Exhibition and Competitions, PAC. Okay. Uh, through this uh, platform, we try to give uh, 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 collaboration between industry, university and students. Not only the students from Karachi, mm -hmm. but from all around Pakistan participate in that, show their talent, their skills and energies through the projects that they design. Uh, it is to be held on 20th of April. You can That's come and thing. visit our project, promote the people who are making good final year projects. You can recommend them 
to make uh, deliver some idea that okay this is a good idea you can work on that yes sir right? i think and this the people uh, like this in second year and first year you can give them ideas great i think we had a wonderful discussion and uh, the bottom line is that it is a double edged sword and uh, we both both the sides have to work towards bridging this gap and understanding each other's needs and uh, you know helping out our students here who are the future thank you so much for joining us both of you i think it was a very important very relevant discussion uh, everyone who's watching i'm sure thoroughly enjoyed and uh, if you have any questions or comments please do email us at open.frequency@dawnnews.tv you can also sms us at 6622 we always look forward to your feedback take care of yourselves have a pleasant evening and a wonderful tomorrow i'll see you next time